Before you begin, you'll need to turn your power off at the circuit breaker. Confirm the power is off by flipping the switch you're going to replace on and off. Typically, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a piece of electrical tape to do the job. First, unscrew your existing switch from the wall. On a standard three-way switch, you should have three wires connected to the switch plus a ground wire. Make sure that you have a neutral wire connection in the wall. Most newer, mid-80s on homes have neutrals in each wall box, which are usually white wires in the back of the box. If you don't have a neutral wire, check the installation guide to see if it's required. This connection is optional for some products. Before disconnecting your old switch, look at the screw colors on the sides of the switch. Use a piece of electrical tape to tag the wire connected to the screw that is a different color than the remaining two. Knowing which wire this is will be important when installing your new dimmer. Now you can remove the existing switch. Use a wire cap to connect the ground to the green wire on your new control. If you do not have a ground wire in this wall box, simply place a cap on the green wire on the dimmer. Connect the tagged wire to the black wire on the dimmer using a wire cap. Connect the other two wires to the red and blue wires on the dimmer. It's important to know the color of the wire you connected to the blue wire, so choose a color different than the other two wires. For example, here we are choosing the red wire. Then, connect the white wire to the neutral wires in your wall box if applicable. If you do not have a neutral wire in the wall box, and your installation guide states the neutral connection is optional, simply place a wire cap on the white wire on your new control. Before turning the power back on, remove the next switch from the wall. Use a piece of electrical tape to tag the wire connected to the different colored screw, similar to the first location. Remove the existing switch.
Use a wire cap to connect the ground to the green wire on your companion control. If you do not have a ground wire in this wall box, simply place a cap on the green wire on the control. Identify the wire that you connected to the blue wire in the first location. This will not be the tagged wire. Connect this wire to the blue wire on the companion dimmer. Remember that we used the red wire for this. Connect the remaining two wires with the red wire from the companion dimmer under a single wire cap. If this is a four-way location, you should have two wires that are the same color as the wire connected to the blue wire on the dimmer. Connect these to the blue wire on the companion control under a single wire cap. Connect the remaining two wires to the red wire on the companion control, as seen here. Once you have replaced switches in all locations and installed the wall plates, turn the power back on at the breaker.